honestly, folks, this may be the first time I've ever done a review again. And I have a really specific reason as to why. But nonetheless, let's get into the review of the new film, Ida Red. What's up folks and welcome back to the channel today for another review and today we're going to be reviewing the film Ida Red which is going to be in theaters on demand and digital November 5th. Now look the reason why I'm doing this review over is that I got to check out this film a couple of months ago at Fantasia Film Festival 2021 and for some odd reason it had became available for press to review and it had a very small window so i had to kind of drop what i was doing rush to watch it and i got a quick review out and i feel like i underperformed in that review so i owe you all a more thorough review of this film now this film is written and directed by john swab who is from the film body brokers which i reviewed uh earlier this year which is a fantastic film starring frank grillo and michael k williams rest in peace michael k williams and that film is really good i mean it's one of my favorite films i checked out this year um so seeing that he was attached to this film seeing that frank grillo was coming back and seeing that it was a, a action thriller i mean come on now you, this is this is right up my alley and this is frank's bread and butter so like there was a lot of reasons as to why i needed to check this out and then the cast itself is just really fantastic josh hartnett uh melissa leo i mean up and down the board there's so many other names as well that's attached to this film that you're just like okay on paper right now this is fantastic but when you check this film out, it is really good. Good action. I mean, it's a it's a bullet flying parade going on here. Uh, the sound is good. It, like I said, the action's good. The plot is really not too complex, but has a lot of meat for a ton of possibilities. And even the cliffhanger at the end of this film really sets up the possibilities to do more with this with this with these characters going forward. So super interesting. And like, if you like a good action film like dinner thieves or you know anything of that sort like this is right up your alley here like not even a question but this film ida red who is a crime boss who is in jail and she's sick so she doesn't want to spend her last days in jail so her kids uh wyatt and dallas says well we're going to do whatever we can in order to get our mom out so that she can spend her final days with us but at the same time, too, there's some other things that the family is involved with. Like, they're not just good Samaritans sitting around. They're actually committing other crimes. So, like, there's a lot of attention from all directions on this family while they're trying to also get their mom out. So this, this story has a lot of twists and turns, a lot of connecting parts, ultimately putting you on an hour and 50-minute nonstop thriller action film. So really good a lot of excitement um you know frank is the man he is uh, sadistic at times i mean he's in his gunfight and it's him versus like 10 people and he just sits back and laughs and blood is being splattered and he has no fear and it's it's really cool and then like you even have other folks too that um i felt like provided some really good scenes some really good moments um even in limited capacity but like i, I enjoyed the film in all because i feel like this is my type of film. This is the reason why I like films it's, it, it, and, and action films. It's because I like when you, the plot isn't, you know, so, uh, it, it's not so complex that you have to kind of like put a thinking hat on and say, well, I don't, I don't understand. No, it gives you enough. It's not so one layer. It gives you a couple of layers, but at the same time too, it's just filled with nonstop action that you don't even care about like the little things that are happening. You just care about seeing how this is all going to play out. What is the end game here? And in this case, will the mom get out of jail? How will they get her out of jail? Or will the FBI or the law enforcement, will they get after their family before they can actually do that? And so that's, that's that. So folks, check it out. Ida Red, folks. Like, I, again, it's going to be in theaters on demand and digital November 5th. I say go see it in theaters. Like, if you love you a good popcorn action flick, this is it for you. I can assure you that one. But yeah, check it out. Jump in the comments and let me know. And I'll see you around really soon for more reviews.